the trades. Maybe an electrician. No. Let's work with our hands. Money's great at modeling. Why has nobody brought up teaching? We would be an amazing teacher. Except teachers don't dress like that. With more than 280 programs and certifications, CCPC is one of the most ambitious dreams to Hey. How's everybody? Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> wow, grand rising. Grand rising, grand rising. Thank you for joining. Grand rising. Please like and share this live. You guys already got me to 12,000 likes. Wow. Okay, good morning, good morning. How y'all doing? It's a little uh, gloomy out. It's been raining off and on. Yesterday it rained a lot. So uh, we gonna bring the sunshine up in here. Okay. We gonna bring some sunshine up in here. That's my little neighbor next door. I do have my windows open, y'all. Know I like the fresh air coming in and stuff. And uh, we're going to get to it this morning. We're going to get to it. We're just going to do an overall energy check for the collective and see what's coming in, what's going on with y'all. Okay. I am still trying to, for my members that are over in my YouTube that are over here as well, please be patient with me. I'm trying to find a way to record things for y'all for whatever reason i record videos and there's no sound we still dealing with these issues from the mercury retrograde y'all so please be patient with me you will get your recorders that you need to see okay whatever level you're on regardless if they're late or not at some point in time you would still find them uh relatable even if they're late so hang in there with me. There's always something when you're doing something new, there's always kinks to work out. And so just be patient. Okay. We clearing the air, the energy around the cards, around the house, around wherever we are today spirit whatever you need or wherever you need us to clear we are doing that we uh want to see what we need to see please spirit when it comes to what is coming towards us for this collective rating what do we need to see not what we want to see but what we need to see we ask that you protect us while we receive these messages and we thank you today, Spirit. I hear in the distance someone's fire alarm is going off, so uh, make sure you guys are checking your fire alarms if it's that time of the year for you. Make sure that they're working in the house. I will be on YouTube tonight about 8.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time giving a reading. You can uh, be notified when it starts, okay? So y'all make sure that y'all turn that on up there. I just posted it. You will have a win, and everyone knows it. Everyone can feel it, okay? This is the name of this, the one that's on YouTube tonight. I already have it posted, so make sure that you uh, take a look at it. Y'all know I can't see from this far because I still don't have my stuff. But um, whatever you're saying, I'll scroll back, okay? But we're going to look and see. We're going to look and see what's coming for this collective. 
What y'all saying? Good morning, Grand Rising. Had my windows open all day yesterday and today. I got into an argument with my grandpa. His mama wants it with her. Oh, Lord. Uh, well, let's see what comes out the car. Come into this video spirit and show us what we need to see for this collective today. What's coming in for this collective? What do we need to be made aware of on today? Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for this collective on today. Okay. It told me to have a seat. Show me what I need to see, please, spirit, for this collective on today. Bottom of the deck is lighting up Leo energy. So I don't know if you're a Leo or if you're dealing with a Leo, but Spirit is asking you to lighten up. Okay, collective. There could be some people that you're giving a hard time to or something like this here. Maybe your guards are really high or something like this. Okay. You could be a fire sign. And I feel like Spirit is saying you need to lighten up a little bit, okay? On things, on people, on whatever the situation is, collective. And then we have speak your world into being. Gemini energy. So you could be a Gemini or you could be dealing with a Gemini. And Spirit is asking you, or just you, collective, okay? Spirit could be asking you to speak your world into being. What is it that you want? And speak it out loud and start putting in the work towards it. Show me, okay. Show me what I need to see. We got believe in your good luck. Sagittarius energy. So there's something hot and fiery coming towards someone because we done had uh, Leo and now we got Sagittarius energy out here, okay? So something uh, fiery could be coming towards you, okay? Something that's good for you. It says believe in your good luck, so. I believe there's a blessing coming in. Then we have, see the bigger picture, Sagittarius energy. So there's something about a Sagittarius or there is something with a Sagittarius here, or there's just something with fire, okay? There's something that you're not seeing, Spirit is saying. Like you're zoomed in on one aspect, but that you need to look all the way 360 in it. Okay. Now, one of these is the first quarter moon in Sagittarius, and the next is the full moon in Sagittarius. Can y'all see when the next full moon is and what it's in for me, please? Somebody please look that up. Okay. Show me what I need to see. One more for this deck, please, Spirit, for this collective. We got to know you are loved. Libra energy. So either you're a Libra and you're in love or there's someone that's in love with you that could be a Libra. There could also be someone coming towards you in Libra season, which is what, this week? Okay. There could be a love coming towards you in Libra season. And then we got shine. Leo energy. So something high and fiery, definitely. It could be a new love that's coming towards you in Libra season, or maybe there's a, a love uh, that you're rekindling with someone in Libra season, okay? Or you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? All right, so shine, and then make time for self-love, Libra energy. So there's something going on in Libra season that you need to make some time for some self-care, self-love. You may have already started doing this, okay? Because maybe you're feeling that there's something coming in and you're like, okay, I got to make sure that I'm on point. I got to make sure that I'm right, okay? You, you might be making sure that everything is everything right now. Okay, something fiery is coming in here. I like this energy. Where are we going from here? The tarot. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective. What does this collective need to see today? Show me what I need to see for this collective on today, please, Spirit. 
Mm, we got the Page of Cups and the Ten of Wands here. There could be some type of a work offer coming in for some. This could be something that you're very passionate about here. Okay. Because you are loved or someone loves the way that you work or the way that you do some things here. Uh-oh, we got the Five of Cups coming out. There could be someone coming in their feelings towards you, collective, or you could be in your feelings. I don't know. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective on today. We got the Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles coming out. Somebody coming in here to give. Somebody wants to work on something here with you or invest in you or something like this here. Balance something out with you. Show me what I need to see, please. You do got balance because we got Libra energy, so that's all about balance, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective one today. There's a um, a little girl sitting by some water. Um, she has long brown hair, but it's in a uh, it's curly. It's very curly. She don't have no shoes on. And she has on a blue dress. Like, it's the kind of dress that you can cut, you can chill in and do shit in. It's not like a frilly dress or nothing like this here. And she's sitting on a rock. Like, she's sitting on a rock. It's a big ass rock. Her family's like in the distance or something like there's music playing, there's barbecuing going on. Music playing. There's a lot of kids running around and there's this little girl just sitting by herself on this rock. Show me what I need to see, please, sir, for this collective. We got the Eight of Swords coming out in the reverse. Show me what else I need to see for this collective. We got the Three of Wands. I feel like someone's becoming unstuck. Like you feel something coming in. We got the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles. Okay. So there's someone who feels like they're left out in the cold and they're watching you. Okay, this could be someone from the past. I feel like this person wants to have a conversation with you. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Sagittarius, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn on the bottom of the deck. So all of us are here already. Okay, what else? We got the Knight of Cups jumping out. Someone wants to bring something in here to you. A gift, a cup. Wow, we got the Tower and the Five of Pentacles. Scorpio energy with the Tower. Ooh, I got the chills. So this, there could be some kind of a Tower happening in this person's life. This person could have a speech impediment because I don't stutter. Okay. This person could be coming towards you with some type of an offer. Okay. I feel like this person's not going to know what to say to you. And I feel like this person could be sick. We got the five of pentacles here. They could be sick, they could be homeless, they could be destitute, but they wanna try to come in and make something right here with you. What else? We got the Ace of Pentacles coming out. There could be some type of a gift, like I said, that this person wants to bring you. Tower energy. I do feel like this person is broken in some type of way. And it might not be destitute, but it could be, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles coming in here, it makes me feel like there's a gift with them. 
There's a gift with them. What else? We got the hermit coming out. It's like somebody wants to reward you for some type of information or some type of um, uh, wisdom that you have. Could be a Virgo. Could be a Taurus or a Capricorn or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm hearing, I want to show you your worth. Someone wants to show you what they feel that you're worth. What else? And now I'm hearing. Cause girl, you were a dick. Yeah. Girl, you were a dick. Empress Energy. Confirmation with the horde in the background. Good. We got the tower on the bottom of the deck. You are not expecting this whatsoever. Why is this Eight of Swords here? What's this Eight of Swords? Someone definitely feels stuck in something. What is this Eight of Swords? But something's about to shake something up. We got the Page of Cups. Definitely could be some type of a job offer here. We got the King of Cups on. It could also be a very passionate, compassionate offer um, from someone, okay? Something that maybe you've been kind of waiting for, that you've been expecting, that you've been kind of building with this Three of Wands here. What's this Three of Wands? We got the Four of Cups coming out sideways. So someone is, I felt another one. Oh, there it is. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be some type of a work situation that maybe someone has been feeling like they may have passed, they have, um, it has passed them by, but it's not. This could also be some type of a love situation that someone feels like it has passed them on, but I don't feel like it has. There's something, someone's paying attention to the past a little too much, but there's something coming in here for them. But if this could have something to do with a past job or something that maybe you were in. This could also have to do with a past relationship. Page of Cups, Four of Cups. They have cups here, Six of Cups, Knight of Cups. What is this Six of Cups? We got the Magician coming out here. Either you've been manifesting something that you've been wanting to do, something that you've been wanting to work on since you were young and it's about to come into fruition for you, or there could be someone that you've known since you were young that's trying to manifest you in lovers. This is on the bottom of the deck. Could be a contract coming in here, okay? On something that you've been wanting to do since you were younger or something like this here. But nine of swords in the reverse. Okay. Or this could be a love contract coming in towards you. There's something that you've always wanted. Some type of like fairy tale, because we got the Knight of Cups coming in here that you've always wanted. And after that is the Ace of Pentacles. You coming out as the Empress, okay, regardless of sex, okay? So it's something that you've wanted. It could be love. It could be a job. It could be anything that you've always wanted that you've been trying to manifest in here since you were younger. And it's coming in here on a platter, okay? What is it? Lovers. The Nine of Swords in the reverse, like... This is a meant to be type of contract. What is this Knight of Cups? The Hangman. Wow. You could be going through some type of transformation here, or this person could be going through, <clears throat> excuse me, through some type of transformation. I just got a text message or something in my email or something. I heard it go off. I hear everything. Yeah. Drive me crazy. <laughs> oh, it, does. it doesn't it doesn't drive me crazy it's just that I wish I didn't hear everything especially at night when I'm trying to sleep uh, because the slightest thing I'm up 
Okay, and I don't know if it has to do with uh, being a single mom of kids and living by myself and having to make sure that everything was good and my spidey senses be tingling. I don't know. We got the Ace of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Pentacles? We got the world. This is something new here, new chapter, new money. Okay. I like this. This is something new coming in. Somebody wants to have something new with someone. Six of Pentacles, they want to give to someone. Somebody wants to balance something out with someone. There's something coming in here for you. Somebody wants to give something to you. What is this hermit? You're going to be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, an Aquarius, or a Scorpio. We got the Knight of Pentacles. This is something that's very long-lasting. Knight of Pentacles coming out. Verbal Taurus, Capricorn energy here. Six of Pentacles still on the bottom of the deck. Somebody definitely wants to give something to you. I feel like you would open up a world for you. Whatever this is is coming in, it's going to open up a whole new world for you. What is this Queen of, I mean, this Empress? Why is this Empress here? And I'm still hearing, because girl, you are earned it. Okay, seven of swords in the reverse. I do feel like this is not something that you're going to have to worry about. Eight of wands, there's going to be communication that comes in about some type of a plan here. Or there could be a, a, a some type of a plan here that someone is trying to communicate here to you. Seven of swords is in the reverse though. And I do feel like this is something that you can trust. Four of swords, eight of wands, ten of swords. Something ended though. Something definitely ended, and I said that with the tower. Chariots, wow. Someone's really moving forward in something, and you can feel it, okay? There's going to be some type of... Um, um, ooh. I don't always say this, y'all. Y'all know I don't like to say this, but if there could be some type of message about somebody dying or something like this here. We got the Ten of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. All right. There could definitely be someone that watches you online, you guys. You could be dealing with a cancer that's coming towards you. Someone online who could be a soulmate. I feel like this person may hold on to you. Why is the world here? We got the emperor coming out. So there could be an Aries around. There's a lot of fire in this daggone ribbon. There could be an Aries around. This could be a boss. This could be someone uh, in a higher position than you, who wants to bring something into you, okay? This could be a boss. We got the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This person watches you online with the world here, or something like this here, and they're coming in to give something. This could definitely be a job offer that's about to really set you up, okay? If someone feels like you have what they need in order to make something go here, you could definitely be dealing with an Aries. Why is this hangman here? The three of swords in the reverse. So someone's coming in to heal something here with you. I feel like this person sees you in a different light. Page of swords on the bottom of the deck. You got quite a few people watching you. I mean, you are an empress, so you will, okay? Show me what else I need to see for this collective reading on today. We got past life, and I started to say that, past life relationship. Six of Cups here, okay? This could be someone that comes in from a past life relationship or you're going to feel like this person is from a past life. So this could be twin flame energy, okay? Or maybe you've had some type of a past life lo uh, love link with this person, okay? Or someone, because there's a few people here, okay? We got a Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Page of Cups, Okay, and a Knight of Cups, so, and the Empress. 
So there could be a few different people coming in here towards you that feel like past life love, or they could be. Okay, we got Gemini energy out here with the Three of Swords in the reverse. Somebody wants to heal something here with you because they see something different in you now, okay? What else? We got a soulmate. What else for this collective? So this is a soulmate, or one of them is. Okay, we got honeymoon. Somebody definitely wants to do something with you. Take you somewhere. We got engagement. Oh, well, damn. Maybe that Ace of Pentacles is actually someone asking you to marry them. Okay, that I said there's a gift with it. There's some type of gift. We got getting to know each other. So I guess you need to pump them brakes then with the engagement. Okay, we got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So somebody wants to talk to you. I said that. Eight of Swords in the reverse. That's the very first card that came out. Somebody wants to talk to you about how they feel about you. What else? We got to give your relationship a chance and you deserve love. Bottom of the deck is finances and career. And that's what I was saying. There's something about some money here, about a job or something else going on here. That someone has a plan maybe to get to use you for what you know. I don't mean it like that. I mean it like, you know, like they're a boss emperor okay and they're, they want to come in because of what you know like you know a lot of shit and this person sees how wise you are and they want to get to you empress energy like this this brings up your your net worth bottom of the deck is love yourself first so watch out for the sneaky people that's trying to come back oh i gotta get this up i was trying i was trying i was trying i was trying to leave it down i can't I'm going to come up in a second and see what y'all are saying. Because y'all be saying a lot. Okay. I hope this is resonating for you all. And I hope it's giving you the clarity that you need. Okay. All right. We're going to go to this. Okay. All right, show me what I need to see, please, Spirit. Final, final three messages in each pile, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective energy. What does this collective need to see? What's this collective energy? Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> show me what I need to see, please, Spirit. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is listen to your intuition. What the fuck I say? Because there's some people coming back. Make sure you do. There's people coming back who haven't changed. And there's people who have that are trying to come towards you and see it. But it really is up to you. It's going to be up to you if you want to let people back from the past or if you don't. I mean, it is what it is. Okay. What else? I mean, just because they, you know, they come towards you and something to say doesn't mean, you know, you have to. We got weight coming out. So there could be a weight with something or there has been a weight with something. Or spirits telling you wait on something. Don't make any moves. We got unlikely. So something is unlikely to turn out the way that you think it's going to turn out. And you need to use your intuition. We got helpful people. So if you wait and stop moving forward with something... There's some helpful people that's about to come in to help you with whatever's going on. And that's what I was seeing. Like, there's a uh, there's an energy of someone wanting to give to you, okay? A job uh, of love. I don't know. And then we got no need to worry and success. So, the Nine of Swords was in the reverse. So, there is going to be success in whatever this is. And we got the situation will improve. So, whatever you're dealing with right now, your situation is going to improve, okay? We got to get more information. So, whenever this comes in, whatever this is, don't just be like, ah, yes. Don't do it. Make sure you're getting what you deserve. Okay, use your brain. Don't I 
Be excited. Be very excited. Okay, because this feels like a job that's going to change your life, like your income, your, your, um, you know, the way that you move. It's really going to change that. But don't just be like, okay, yeah, no, okay, don't do that. Look at the look at the fine print. Ask a million questions. Okay. One more. Make it my lucky number seven. Give me one more, please, Spirit. Thank you. Opportunity. Okay. Bottom of the deck is no. So there are some people that you're going to be saying no to collective. This is the green uh, frame around this. This is the heart chakra. So there are some people that you're going to need to say no to, Spirit saying. Okay. All these other ones are purple and gold. So that tells me that this is money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. You hear this? You hear the sirens? <laughs> ah, you hear the sirens. Okay, but there's an opportunity coming in here towards you collective. Okay, and I feel like it's gonna be something very beneficial for you. Okay. And there's no need for you to worry. It's working out in your favor. I like that energy, Spirit. All right. Spirit said, final more messages with these, and then I can do the fortune cookie. Show me what else I need to see for this collective on today. What else do I need to see for this collective on today? What messages? We got to do all things in moderation and embrace your power. Yeah, because you got something coming towards you that you don't have a choice, okay? I just saw say no, and we already said say no, spirit said now. Okay, we got to let go and enjoy. That's that whole uh, lighten up thing that we got at the beginning. You need to enjoy something here. Something's about to come in towards you. And even if it hasn't come towards you yet, enjoy the feeling of knowing that it's coming in. We got to nurture yourself first. So I know that a lot of us are moms in here and dads. Uh, make sure that you are taking care of your sleep your body, make sure you're doing what you need to do to sleep well, to eat well, um, because when this comes in, I feel like you're going to be busy, okay? So take care of yourself now uh, so that you're not trying to take care of yourself while you're starting something new, because this looks like it's something new and, and very, very amazing, okay? That's about to get you moving, okay? So, yeah. You want to already be in the frame of mind of I'm eating good. I'm not grabbing fast food. I'm, I'm packing up a little snack for me to have either in the car or in my bag. Okay, the temperatures are starting to get chillier so you can leave something in the car. Okay, especially if it's like fruit or something like that. Um, you know, have yourself some, if you don't have a nut allergy, some almonds on hand. Uh, something that's going to keep your stomach from growling, okay? Especially when you're on the go. You know what I need to see, please, Spirit, for this collective. We got shine your light and engage higher reason. So make sure that you are continuously shining your light. There may be some things that come in that you feel are challenging, but Spirit is saying, look at it from a different perspective. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit. For this collective. We got to build on solid ground and do all things in moderation. We got to think things through. Absolutely. I said that. All right. Bottom of the deck is choose friends wisely. There's people coming towards you, collective. Old friends, new people who want to be friends. Be careful. Watch who you have in your energy because everyone, at, I'm telling you, the reading tonight on YouTube is about people know you're about to have a win. And you saw that Ace of Pentacles with the world, with the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The only thing we didn't really get out that made me feel is the Ten of Pentacles. But you came out as the Empress, 
Okay, regardless of sex, choose your friends wisely at this time. I feel like you're going to end up cutting some folks off anyway because they're going to show who they really are. Okay. We got to make no judgments. Admit your vulnerabilities. Think things through. Retreat. So, yeah, I said you need to make sure you're getting some rest. Uh, because when this comes in, I do feel like you're going to be busy. But do all things in moderation. Build on solid ground. Have faith. Seek hidden treasure. And ask with sincerity. So I, I do feel like it. Okay. Okay, so Spirit's saying there's some of y'all that really need to watch how you judge other people, okay? With this do all things in moderation, someone may have something different that they do than what you do. Like, we all have vices or whatever this is, you know, drink, smoke weed, smoke cigarettes, whatever the fuck, gamble. Don't judge people because theirs is different than yours. It's all looked at as the same. Okay. So do all of those things in moderation, Spirit is saying, to keep them in check then you don't have to worry about overdoing something. I don't know what this is here. Okay, we got to have faith and admit your vulnerabilities. So there could be someone who's coming towards you, collective, who you, uh, who may be having to be vulnerable with you. I feel like this person uh, could try to pull on your heartstrings. But I feel like with the listen to your intuition kept coming out for me, for you all, for me, you're going to know, you have faith in knowing that you're going to know, you know, who to pick. There's nothing wrong with admitting uh, you're vulnerable. I know some people feel like that is a bad thing to in certain areas you're vulnerable like you don't know everything you don't you know it's okay to not know everything because none of us know everything we're always learning we're always growing okay changing so have faith that you're going to know when someone is being vulnerable with you because they want to be vulnerable with you just because or because they're trying to get something out of it to get you to be vulnerable. Something like this here. With the think things through, I, we already talked about that. When this thing comes in that's coming towards your collective, don't just jump on it. Make sure that your thinking steps, what, what are we gonna do with this? How are we gonna make this move? Make good decisions, solid decisions for yourself, okay? Build on solid ground and seek hidden treasure and ask with sincerity and retreat. So maybe you're about to go somewhere or maybe you could be asking a friend, hey, can I sleep on your couch for a few days, weeks, just so I can get away from home? I don't know. But I feel like if you ask, you're going to get what you need, okay? With this build on solid ground and seek hidden treasure, I do feel like some of you guys are starting over at some point. Like you're starting from nothing or you had to start from nothing and you are building on solid ground at this time, okay? But there's something that's hidden from you. It could be confirmation with the beat. There's something that's hidden from you that is treasure, but I feel like it's like right in front of your face, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit. Final messages for this collective on today. We got planning. What were we just talking about? Thank you, Spirit. What else? 
Bottom of the deck is wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. And I feel like that's also what that is. You're getting blessed. Because I feel like someone could have sought advice from you. Okay, you help put somebody back on their track. I don't know. But someone wants to bless you because they, I'm hearing you earned, like you earned this. We got nature. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. So some of you could need to get outside, okay? Outside in nature. Get some grounding in. Because when this, like I said, when this comes through, you want to be ready. Okay, that's also what this retreat is. We got planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. I'm telling you, there's something coming in. And then we have travel. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experience for singles and career advancements for others. That is that emperor with the ace of pentacles with the world there that card explains that okay to me those cards okay long distance communication someone from afar that's watching you i said page the stories they're watching you someone could be reaching out towards you okay wanting to come towards you take you out do something nice with you i don't know this could also be a job that wants to take you out, take you out for dinner, confirmation with the horn, and get to know you, see if you really are what they're looking for. They're seeing you as this empress, okay? And then we got opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. This is not going to be someone that you know with this emperor, ace of pentacles, and the world tier, okay? Exciting times, more exciting times. Well, goddamn, you about to have some fun, Okay? And plenty of action, plus a special family reunion. It's likely so you'd be getting back together with some old family members or something like this here that maybe you haven't talked to in a while. But remember, bottom of the deck is choose friends wisely. Also, this emperor that you don't know. It's a stranger now. Okay? We got sexuality. Oh, does somebody want to get it in? Okay, existing relationships could find a new passion and heighten sexual attraction opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong, but if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. So, some of y'all make sure that y'all watch out for the offers that you're getting, like I said, because there's some that's coming back to try to trick you. Be careful. They're not for you. They think they're for you, okay? They think they're for you. They do. They're not. They're not, okay? You will know the right... You you try the spirit by the spirit. If it don't feel right, it ain't right. Oh, my gosh. These are going to cause me making my hands dry. Okay. All right, so that completes this reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I'm about to come up there and see what y'all was talking about. I hope that this resonated for you, and I hope that it gave you the um, insight that you needed for today, this week, the rest of this month, the rest of your life. I don't know, but I hope that it helped you, okay? Let's see what y'all was saying. Let me scroll back. Hey, hey. Well, thank you so much, Miss D. Thank you so much. We're rising, Phyllis. We mix vibes. Get a reading. I told God I want a new chapter with my Leo. Come on, new money. I know that's right. Okay, thank you for the follow. Hi, Reg. He's an Aquarius. Oh, hey, pretty uh, mommy of three blessings. I had a dream about him. He's a childhood friend. Wow. Hey, Mercy. I'm going to check and see if anybody wanted a reading. 
Abundance Rising, Miss Stacy. Hey, Riri. My mom has a car and wants to give it to me. That's amazing. That's a blessing. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Jay. Thank y'all for the gifts, you guys. I really appreciate y'all with the gifts. I really do. Resonating heavy already. Yes, that was a collective. Hey, Steve. How are you? <laughs> hey, Shay. What you know about money bag, yo, Miss Stacy? <laughs> Okay, I saw those. What's the new ones? Miss Stacy, that little girl in the blue dress drowned. Oh! Maybe that's what, you know, kids come to me. Confirmation. I, kids are always trying to show me where they're at. I hate that. Um... And I don't know what to do with the information because I don't know what state, I don't know what city, I don't know nothing. But kids are always coming to me. And it's so, I, I got to tap in more to it. Oh, you're welcome, Pauline. Yes, ma'am. Hey, hey, Georgia Peach. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Do they have Do they have Cause I ain't never been there. But I know that that's where it happened to George Floyd, right? But do they have these silver like arches or something? Somewhere, like, because I was seeing that. Yes, ma'am. Wow. I did the fortune cookie. Yes, I did. This will be posted on um, YouTube. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Y'all, we're going to get, um, me and my son were talking about equipment uh, because when we do move from here, um, I want a, kind of a studio set up. So this will be better. And I won't have to come up and scroll and shit. Now I can pull it up on whatever the fuck okay and talk to you guys on that or whatever I can do um, I'll figure it out we're figuring shit out things are changing um, things are moving along uh, I hope things are moving along for y'all uh, make sure y'all give praise reports we're always loving to hear the good stuff we don't mind hearing the bad stuff but we love to hear the good stuff so if y'all got good stuff going on um, and you are a follower or a subscriber here, I would love to be able to share in your blessings. Um, so we can make like a, um, a little section in my blog. I can make a little section in my blog where we give praise reports uh, so that we know what's going on with each other. Uh, I also want to open up the fact of the mom group managing our mental space. It does not, you do not have to be a mom. I don't, I don't care if you're a father, but it's, that's what spirit, confirmation, that's what spirit gave me. Okay. Mastering our mental space. Uh, is going to be starting. I got to look at the date. I know I put the date on there. Sometime in October, I believe. Um, and it is a small group. It is $20 to get in. Um, it's just to make sure that people, when they come into this group, that they're taking it seriously. I don't want people that are going to be in and out the group. 
Um, we're going to be learning. We're going to be helping each other, manage our mental space, doing different activities with each other, whether together, whether together or, or um, online, we'll figure it out. Um, depending on how this group goes, uh, we'll open it up to more spaces and more times that we meet, okay? So check it out. It's in the link in my bio. Make sure you fill out all of the contact information, y'all, and subscribe to the newsletter if you're going to be in a part of the moms group. Um, but remember, you do not have to be a mom to be in it. Managing our mental space, okay, is what the acronym stands for. So um, please take a look at the... Um, in my shop and it'll explain it a little bit to you but it's basically a mom's group um, where we're helping to build each other uh, no matter what we're dealing with no matter what we're working through but helping each other get different resources and uh, do good what's going on within here and within here okay helping each other to grow to learn to move forward from situations that may have us stuck Okay, so um, I know some people are like, well, why is she, you know, for the $20? But it is to make sure that there's a, um, just to make sure that there are people who are dedicated, okay? Usually when you have an investment in something, you're dedicated to that. And that's what I want, okay? Because at some point, we're going to need someone to be a uh, 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 president in the group, a secretary, a vice president, a treasurer, you know, I see it growing, okay? I see it growing. And I want us to be able to do different things, different activities with each other, all right? So anyhow, um, I will see you guys later on YouTube, 8.45 p.m. Bye. It is posted. It's posted in my um in my store. There you should pay uh before when when you get the chance to pay so that I can put because there's a small group. It's gonna be between five and ten women. That's it. But you do not have to be a mom, okay? Oh, Yes, you yes you can. I forgot to check the shit. I'm glad that you said something, because I sure didn't check it. And some Evelyn and Layla. Layla, you're first. God damn it. Layla. Then Evelyn. All right. Layla, what did you want, honey? Love, general, uh, financial. Are you in here, Layla? You want love? Okay. I will let you guys know when it has filled up. When the group has filled up, I won't accept any more payments, okay? Good morning, good morning. So love, okay, good morning. Let's see what come out for love. I'll give you a few of these and I'll give you tarot. Show me what I need to see for Layla for love. What does Layla need to see about love? I just saw heart to heart conversation, so somebody want to talk to me. Show me what I need to see for later and for love. Bottom of the deck is release your ex. So your your ex could be the one that wants to talk to you. Show me what I need to see for Layla for love. 
We got true love. So you got a true love coming in. Or you just met them. We got to pay attention to the red flags. So even though they're a, they're a true love, they may still have some red flags that you need to watch out for. You need to tell them about it. Don't just see it or you hear it and don't say nothing about it. Let's not go backwards. We got finances and career. So you could be dealing with money. You could just be trying to focus on building up your money or something here. And we got separation. So I don't know if you're in separation from someone and they want to come back to you, your ex, okay? But you got a true love coming in here. Show me what else I need to see for Layla. For love. We got the world in the Six of Wands. So I don't know if you're doing online dating or if people are finding you online or something. We got the sun in the world. So something good is coming in here for you. Show me what I need to see for Layla for love. I feel like it's this true love. But don't, don't act like the red flags ain't there. Pay attention to them. Bottom of the deck is the sun for love. I love it. Show me what I need to see for Layla for love. So I don't know if you're a Leo or if you're dealing with one. We got the five of cups. Somebody in their feelings in the background. Layla. We got the wheel of fortune and the judgment. Yeah, there's something coming in here for you. You're going to be walking away from whoever this is here in the background or you already did. But there's something really good coming out in here for you okay something meant for you but it's as you walk away from someone else okay you can be getting some type of messages coming in about someone wanting to start something with you okay Wrong deck. all right evelyn you still in here Thank you for the follow. It says sold out. Mimi? Okay, I'll take a look at it. I don't know why it says sold out. Because, oh, I got to look. <laughs> General. Okay, Evelyn, how are you? All right, let's do an overall energy check, Evelyn. Okay, and we'll get to the tarot. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Evelyn. What does Evelyn need to see right now? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Evelyn. Show me what I need to see. And now what I want to see. Look, the sun's kind of come out. We ask that you protect your, us through these messages. And we thank you today, Spirit. So, I, Evelyn, I don't know if the sun is starting to come out in your life, okay? But the sun is starting to come out all of a sudden. Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, forever. Bottom of the deck is trust the universe. Aquarius energy, okay? So you could be in your head about something when it comes to, I don't know, but you could be in your head about something, maybe with an Aquarius, but Spirit is saying, trust me. I just need you to trust that I'm going to make sure things work out the way that they're supposed to. Show me what I need to see for Evelyn. We got believe in your good luck. Sagittarius energy. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. And then we have keep your heart open. Libra energy. So Spirit said that you need to keep your heart open because there could be a love that's coming towards you here. In Libra season, which I said is what? This week? Next week? I feel like it's this week, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Evelyn. Or you could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius. You definitely could be in your head about something. Show me what I need to see for Evelyn. What is Evelyn? Thank you. Bottom of the deck is surrender. So there's something that you need to surrender to spirit. I feel like spirit is like trying to urge you to let go of a situation or to allow whatever needs to work out in the situation work out. And I just got a message. So yeah, and we got a wounded healer. I want you to look up the eye of Horus and look up Sekhmet. 
S E K H M E T. Mm -hmm. S E K H M E T. The I of Horus, H O R U S, and Sekhmet. Because you are in Sekhmet energy right now, um, which is a dark feminine energy, okay? Or you're coming into this energy. And it's because it says wounded healer. So I do feel like you are trying to heal some of your own wounds as you try to help others heal, okay? I feel like you keep getting hurt or something like this here, but we gotta live out loud. So I feel like, like I said, you be in your head, you're living inside your head, baby. And spirit wants you to live out loud. Like there's, look how colorful you are. Look how much you have to show the world. And, and I feel like because you keep getting wounded or something like this here, you want to go back in. And Spirit's like, nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Live out loud. There's something coming in here for you, though. I can feel it, okay? Show me what I need to see, please, Spirit, for Evelyn. The, uh, that's not a bad thing to be in segment energy, okay? Because she comes through. Once she's had enough, she come through and it's just like, Rawr. okay, she's like, no, I'm not taking no more, God damn it, this is this and this is that and that is that and that is that and you don't mess around, okay, in that energy. Show me what else I need to see for Evelyn. Show me what I need to see. We got the Knight of Cups coming out, Evelyn. Someone's watching you. When they making some type of plan here to come towards you. Okay. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We got the King of Pentacles jumping out. So you could have a few people coming towards you here. That's too many. But some people are making plans here for you. What else? Somebody's making plans to come in here towards you. We got the justice coming out here. And it did come out in the reverse, but definitely Libra energy. Somebody wants to talk to you about something that they think isn't fair. Okay? You could be dealing with a boss, okay? You could also be dealing with someone. There's someone here that's coming in to romance you. And I feel like they could, have, they could be very wealthy. They could have some money of their own. They could own some businesses or something like this here. But somebody wants to talk to you about something that they feel isn't fair. We got the Two of Cups. This could definitely be, uh, girl, this could be uh, you coming together in a union with someone. But this could also be some type of a work situation. It could go both ways. This could be working with someone that you can build with here. Two of Cups coming out, okay? This is something or someone that's on your path. Justice here, like, this is meant for you. This is justice after something. Because you're a wounded healer coming out. But I feel like you're about to meet someone that's your match. Yeah, hermit. This is something that's going to be more on a spiritual level. Something that's higher level. Three of swords in the reverse. Definitely feel like this is going to be a very healing connection. Whatever this is here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra. A verbal Taurus, Capricorn, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody wants to somebody want to take you off the market. Five of Swords in the reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Three of Cups in the world. Somebody wants to take you off the market. Somebody wants to help you heal. And build something here with you. Why is this Knight of Cups here? The Page of Swords. What I say? They watching you. What is this King of Pentacles? The Page of Cups. This definitely could be a job offer here. But there's somebody romantic-wise that's watching you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, for real. Ooh, we got the Emperor. This definitely could be a job offer coming in towards you, Evelyn. Em Emperor, the Page of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. That definitely could be someone who has a business or someone who's pretty wealthy, someone who runs a business. I don't know. But there's a job offer coming in here towards you, okay? That's what I feel, okay? Wow. There could also be a love offer coming in here towards you. Why is this justice here? We got the Knight of Swords, and it came out in reverse. There's stuff, there's a conversation somebody wants to have with you, but they don't want you to think that they're rushing. 
Two of Swords, Emperor. You're going to have to make some type of a decision here. This is about a contract. Could be about a love contract. Could be about a work contract. Could be both. Someone doesn't want you to feel like they're rushing you or something like this here. What is this Two of Cups? Two of Cups. Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles. We got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a love connection. This is also some type of work connection, though. King and Queen of Pentacles, you guys, I got the chills. You guys can help build something here, okay? There's something somebody wants to build here with you, but they don't feel like, they don't want to rush you, okay? What is this hermit? Why is this hermit here? The Empress. This person sees you. They see you. We got the Two of Swords. We got the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Three of This person wants to work together here with you. I don't know if there's some type of decision to let go of some type of, of, of um, family situation. There could have been some type of a breakup or something that happened before. But someone's waiting for the wheels to turn. I do feel like someone in the background is going through some bad karma. Could be a Sagittarius. I don't know if they juggled you or or something like this here. Maybe you didn't use your intuition on someone. Okay. I definitely would be careful with these pages that's here. I would be very careful with these pages because I don't feel like they mean you any well because they would just cost you time, energy, whatever, money. We got you got a knight of swords. A Knight of Cups, a King of Pentacles, a Page of Cups, a Page of Swords, a Queen of Pentacles, and an Empress here. And I believe you are the Empress, okay? Give me the overall energy for this. We got the moon. So there are things that you don't see. And it's a, it's a new chapter that's starting for you, okay? That, where you're going to have to make decisions, honey. To a sword. Don't be a stalemate. Don't get in your head because of what someone else did. You know when you're right. You have the ability to know when something is right for you. And I feel like you doubt it so much. Um, and then your doubts make you scared. So you make the wrong decision because you're in your head about it. When you know it, you feel it. I know that you do. Show me love. For Evelyn. Show me what I need to see for Evelyn. We got to give your relationship a chance being the first card out. Bottom of the deck is free yourself. So there's someone that's holding on to you. We got to let go of control issues and give your relationship a chance. We got a wedding coming out. Attraction and engagement. Girl, there's a higher love coming in for you. But there's some, like, I feel like you need to let go of some type of control issue or something. There's a lot of attraction between you and someone else. I do feel like you can have some trust issues, though. I do feel like you're working on your finances. And I feel like there's something good coming in for you when it comes to your finances. What else for Evelyn? Evelyn. What else? We got love jumping out first, Evelyn. Bottom of the deck is manifestations. A bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes could manifest right before your eyes. And we have signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. Then we got future. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. And then we have love. Love is in the air. A great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Someone's coming in to get you, baby. Somebody is, ooh, I got the chills. Somebody is coming in to get you. And your manifestations are coming in. You better quit playing now, Evelyn. I like that for you. Okay. Thank you guys so much for contributing to my live goal. I know that's right, Evelyn. Let me check and see if anyone else wants something here. 
All right, I think I took care of that. I will look and see at the mom group, you guys, because I, not that I know of, of uh, people purchasing uh, anything just yet, but I don't, let me look at, oh, hold up. Okay, I got you guys. Let me look, let me look, let me look, look, look. It could be something on my end. Maybe I didn't open it up. Okay. Because uh, I don't remember seeing any um, emails or anything like that about people purchasing that so that I could start um, sending out information. Okay, but let me take a look at the product. Yeah, yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> Hold on for a second. Let me edit this. Okay. There, you should be able to. <laughs> you should be able to uh, purchase a um, thing into it, you guys. Okay. I apologize for that. Um. I know I posted, maybe I meant to. It's starting in October, you guys. It's gonna be at 6.30 on Saturdays, Eastern Standard Time, either Zoom or IG. I haven't decided yet um, because we're gonna be in a group. We're not, I'm not just gonna be talking. Everybody's gonna to have to be on video camera. You do not have to show your face, I don't care. Um, but you do, we do want to hear your voice, okay? And it, you don't have to be uh, in the United States. I don't give a fuck where you are because we can get on the social media apps and talk to each other. It's October 7th. October 7th is the first um, mom group, okay, moms, okay? I have to um, start the uh, IG group and as it grows you you have to uh, you can't you won't be able to get into the group unless you are uh, pay for it on here and make sure you fill out all your information so that I can get in touch with you so that I can start sending you information and stuff like that for the mom's group, okay? And um, so that I can save your space. So, uh, yeah, so now you guys should be able to do it as active. And you should be able to, um, let me go into the store myself and make sure.
It's there now. Yeah, you can add it to the cart now, okay? I am going to continue to try to upload some videos for you guys over on YouTube if you're here. Um, if you're here and you're a member over there, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on trying to upload videos in different ways. Uh, my phone don't have any room, so that's the biggest issue right there. Um, so just hang in there with me, guys. But I'm going to be uh, doing videos for you guys. Um, okay, I see. All right, you guys, I'm going to get off of here because that was it, I believe. And um, I didn't get any um, cash out. So we're good. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Thank you so much for the gifts. Good morning. You're welcome, Evelyn. Bye, you guys.